have installed a 23-inch front wheel and 2-inch longer fork tubes with legend fork cartridges on Road Glide Special to make wheelie easier. This setup requires longer brake lines. It's impossible to relocate OEM brake lines due to rigid metal sections, so we are going to make new ones. First, drain brake fluid from the calipers using a vacuum tool. The brake fluid reservoir cap must be opened. To reach the brake lines, it needs to remove the seat and the gas tank. ABS module is under the right side cover. Bungee bolts are better to loosen than the module is fixed. To completely unscrew the bungee bolts, you need to unscrew the battery box. This allows to move down the ABS module. Brake lines are fixed with ties and clips. There is a guide on the steering column, which must be unfastened. It is easier to remove the brake lines towards the calipers due to the rigid sections under the lower triple clamp. I will assemble new brake lines from Hell components on the motorcycle. Hell is one of the world leading manufacturers of steel braided brake lines. The brake lines are very flexible, resistant to extremely low temperatures and aggressive environment. The unique patented design of the fitting allows it to be rotated in the sleeve after crimping. We got a dealership with number 129, which is on all sleeves, and which provides a lifetime warranty. Stainless steel fittings can be bent to any angle. The most accurate and reliable way to make custom brake lines is to assemble it on the motorcycle. First, set the directions of all fittings, so that the brake lines from the calipers and ABS module do not touch the fender and frame. I put on the sleeves now, because they fix the line close to fitting. Next, new lines are laid along the original route, while the front wheel must be hung out to determine the maximum length. To fix the brake lines at the lower yoke, I use clamps that can be rotated to set the proper direction. It is important to make sure that the brake lines do not rub against the frame. After the lines are laid and fixed, you can cut the right length. To prevent the tension of lines after crimping, it is desirable to mark the position of the fitting relative to the sleeve. The fitting can be rotated after crimping, but it is better to fix the proper position now, not to do it during assembly. The sleeves are crimped in a radial press to the required diameter. It's important to use new washers than installing bungee bolts. First, it is better to lay and fix the brake lines, and after tighten the bungee bolts. Bungee bolts are tightened until the washers are deformed. The easiest way to fill the system is to use a vacuum pump. It 
it is important to control brake fluid level in the reservoir, not to drain it and suck air in. The calipers are filled first. Since the liquid is formed inside the system, it must be left under pressure to collect the foam into a bubble. Remaining air is removed from each cylinder under the pressure. On Road Glide 2015 the ABS module must be bleeded programmatically. Brake lines assembly on the motorcycle is the most accurate but the most time-consuming method, because you have to install the lines twice, first to determine the length and the second time after crimping. It is unrealistic to make such a complex scheme by eye or using the original lines. Even a small error in the length or direction will lead to the lines being rubbed, kinked or in tension. More videos with Harley-Davidson motorcycles you can watch on our channel. Subscribe if information was interesting.